I'm Sadhan from Team Digit and this is part 3 of our 4 part series with the Asus Vivo PC. In this video we will be looking at two things. First is the Asus Easy Upgrade Facility. The second thing is the built-in utilities that come with the Asus Vivo PC. But before we get into that, in case you are wondering what we did in the first two videos, you can check out the links here and here. Uh, in case you have your annotations turned on, you can uh, click on the first link uh, which will take you to the unboxing and first look of the Asus Vivo PC and the second link will take you to the video where we looked at the Asus Vivo mouse and the Sonic Master speakers built into the PC. So coming back to the easy upgrade facility for the Asus Vivo PC, so I'll be opening it up now and showing you how easy it is to upgrade components inside it. Any layman can do it actually. So as you can see, we've already unplugged it from the system and uh, all we have to do to open the top panel up is to go at the back of the PC. There you'll find a small Kensington lock shaped uh, symbol. So what this is, it provides you a Kensington lock space that you can use for locking it up. But when you push this bit down here, it opens up the top panel. So it unlocks it and uh, due to which you can easily slide this off and it opens up. So it's that easy to open the Asus Vivo PC for upgrading. In case if you want to you know, change the hard drive and replace it with another hard drive or an SSD for example, then you just need to slide the hard drive and lift it up. There you go. So the hard drive comes out that easily. So what you see at the sides here are some small rubbery bits. So these bits get uh, at the sides of the compartment that the hard drive is mounted in and they secure the drive inside. So what you need is to remove these bits if you are installing another hard drive or if say you are installing an SSD for example then the SSD can be directly installed. You just need to you know, take the SSD, align the ports and just slide it in. So yeah, it goes in that easily. Yeah. And as for uh, a hard drive, it's as simple as screwing the side bits and you know, aligning the drive on top of the system, putting it down and just sliding it back in. So there you go, you, it's that easy to just you know install a new hard drive in the system. It's also very easy to upgrade the RAM inside the Vivo PC. The RAM compartment lies beneath the hard drive compartment. So you just have to slide the hard drive again. It's visible that there is a small illustrated diagram shown here that shows you how you can open the RAM slot up. So there is a screw at the side. You just need to take a screwdriver, a regular screwdriver and twist it to open it. Yeah, there is a small tab area where you can put your finger and open this up. Yeah, so it can be lifted up and there you go. You, you can see the RAM that is already pre-installed in the system right now. So there is a space for another RAM inside this. So this accepts a SODIMM uh, module. So you can we can use this module that we have here. Take this, align it according to the ports. and push it down there you go it locks it uh, easily and snaps on and it doesn't move at all inside so that's how you install a ram and upgrade the asus vivo pc if you just need to remove them uh, remove the installed ram you just need to you know press, apply pressure on the sides and the ram snaps out and you can just pull it out and there you go. So this is how you upgrade the Asus Vivo PC and the whole idea about the easy upgrade facility works in the Asus Vivo PC. So let's move on to other things. The app suggests for the Asus Vivo PC. So once you start the app on your smartphone or tablet, connecting to it will take you to the Wi-Fi Go menu. The menu features 7 options. Cloud Go allows you to sync your files across your cloud storage services. Remote Desktop, as the name implies, lets you remotely operate your Vivo PC from your mobile device. So you can perform almost all the functions that you would normally do on your PC using this component. Now moving on to the DLNA Media Hub. 
So the DLNA Media Hub allows you to stream content from your Vivo PC to other DLNA enabled devices. File transfer allows you to transfer files between your mobile device and the Vivo PC wirelessly. Smart Sensor Control is an interesting component. We say interesting because the Smart Sensor Control feature allows you to control your Vivo PC using the sensors built into your mobile device. Now the remote de keyboard and mouse feature is almost similar to the remote desktop feature. The difference between them is that the feature allows you to use the touchscreen of your mobile device as a keyboard or mouse for your Vivo PC. Last but not the least, the capture and send feature is an interesting way of capturing and sending your screenshots to your mobile device. Before we forget, the bottom panel that you see here lets you know the various diagnostic parameters of the Vivo PC. So this was it for the Vivo PC for this week. Stay tuned and thanks for watching and do subscribe.